Uh, well, what's up? So, finishing this My Thoughts video almost four hours later. Um, you're gonna get my full uh, thoughts of the Batman. Spoiler free, of course. If you want to go watch it, you can. But, let's just get into the positives, okay? I think Robert Pattinson as Batman was a really good casting choice because he fits in. He's actually a really good Batman. He's barely my favorite because I still really like Christian Bale. But Robert Pattinson, he, he, he's a good Batman. I like the bat suit. At first, I thought the bat suit was kind of bad. Like when they released that teaser that's just, I think, him walking in the rain or post or whatever it was. I thought it was just meh. But seeing it move for like two and a half hours and like how it fit with the movie, I was like, ah, that's, that's a good suit. Um... Catwoman, I forgot, Zoe something, uh, she, she was really good in this, she felt like a very good Catwoman, I know we got one of Batman Returns, but that one's alright in my opinion, I'd rather watch, uh, have Zoe's Catwoman, um, the Riddler, a very, very good villain, he's not my favorite, no super villain will top Heath Ledger's Joker in my opinion, so he will automatically just be my number one, but with the Batman Forever Joker, we got just Jim Carrey being Jim Carrey basically, this one, he felt like the Riddler, like, very good, also this is a detective story, we've gotten little bit, bits and pieces of that, this one's just full on, like, I, like, the first hour and a half, two hours, are really good. No, we'll get into that. But the action scenes in this are great. I do like the dialogue. That Nirvana song that I've been seeing a lot, that was really good. I enjoyed that. And, yeah, a lot to love in this movie. However, there was some things I wasn't big on. Uh, the first one. For this movie, is like, two hours and 56 minutes. It keeps a good pace, but then there's like that five ten minutes where it just it drags a little bit, and I'm not a big fan of that personally because I don't like that because I thought this movie was just gonna drag all the way through, but it was pretty good, pretty good pacing. But that part just took me out of it. Also, the ending, and then there's like okay, that wasn't really a spoiler, but I'll cut that out. So. You know, it was a detective story, and then you kind of get to the ending where it was just... It went from, like, a little detective Batman story, which was really good, like a murder mystery and stuff, to just full superhero. I didn't really like that. But this was still a really welcoming Batman entry. Uh, my second favorite, my first favorite, of course, is still The Dark Knight. I thought this would top it. It got close, but just couldn't do it. What I give the Batman uh, out of five... I give it a four out of five. This, this was really enjoyable. Uh, so I'll see you, um, no, no video tomorrow, I'll see you Monday with I Know What You Did Last Summer Review, and yeah, peace out.